I'm Josh, the CEO of Etsy. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some highlights from the holiday season and the progress we're making in accelerating sales growth for sellers. I'll also talk about how we plan to build on our momentum and invest in your success in 2018. We had a great fourth quarter, and I'm looking forward to a great year. Later in the video, Kruthi Patel Goyle, whose team builds the tools and services you use to run your shops, We'll share details on how we'll support your success this year. And we'll finish up by answering some of your questions you submitted in the forums thread. Thanks so much for taking the time to share your questions and your feedback with us. Let's talk about some highlights from last year. We ended 2017 on a great note. In fact, we had our best fourth quarter ever. Our seller community sold $1 billion in goods in a single quarter. That means our community of sellers sold $200 million more in products than they did at this time last year, which is an 18% increase. Over 33 million buyers shopped on Etsy in 2017, compared to 28 million in 2016. How does this compare to other e-commerce sites? In general, U.S. e-commerce had a great fourth quarter, but we grew even faster. We're now the seventh largest e-commerce site in the U.S. based on the number of unique visitors, and our goal is to continue getting bigger and growing faster. The hard work we're all doing together is paying off. Let's talk about how we're driving this growth. You've asked us to make a bigger investment in marketing to bring more buyers to your shop. We've been doing that. We spent over $1 million a week telling people about your amazing products. During the fourth quarter, sales driven by our paid marketing efforts grew by 45%. We also gave you new sharing features that make it easy to promote your items on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest right from your shop. We even take some of the guesswork out by suggesting posts tailored just for you. We also launched the Cyber Week sales event to bring in more buyers looking for special gifts and gave you the tools to run sales in your own shop. Many of you participated in the Cyber Week event. On average, those who participated saw more sales than they did at the same time a year earlier, as was the case with our Labor Day event. Even sellers who didn't participate in the Cyber Week event got more sales during that time. So there was a benefit site-wide. Once shoppers get to Etsy, Search enhancements are making it easier for them to find what they're looking for. Our search algorithms are getting better, and as a result, we're driving a lot more sales. I'll share more about search later in the video. What excites me most about all of this is that we're growing the pie on average for everyone. During the holiday season, the average seller saw a 12.6% increase in sales compared to holiday 2016. We're also creating opportunity for more of our sellers. We all know that some products go in and out of fashion, and consumer tastes are always changing. But growth for Etsy.com should translate into more sales for more sellers like you. We're not slowing down. In fact, we're building on our shared momentum and kicking off 2018 with a renewed commitment to investing in your success. This year, we'll continue to focus on helping buyers find what they're looking for, sparking their imagination, and making the browsing experience more fun. You play an important role in improving the search experience by giving buyers the right information about your items, including your tags. Many of you have asked for more information and guidance on search, and we'll be giving you that in the coming months. We need your help. For instance, there are things you can do now to make your shop more attractive to gift buyers who come to Etsy not just during the holidays, but for birthdays, milestone celebrations, and other gifting occasions that happen all year round. Make sure your processing times are accurate and as fast as possible. If you have items in stock, mark them as ready to ship. If you haven't tried offering free shipping, consider trying it out in your shop. Etsy buyers also love your personalized customer service and special touches like handwritten notes. These personal touches, along with your creative products, help set Etsy apart in a sea of sameness. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. I'll hand it over to Kruthi now and answer some of your questions at the end of the video. I'm excited to build on our successes together with you this year.
Hi, I'm Kriti Patel Goyal, the General Manager of Seller Services here at Etsy. I lead the team that builds all the services and tools you use to run your business. Things like order management, promoted listings, the Sell on Etsy app, and your shipping tools. We know you rely on our features for your shop, and we're focused on giving you what you need to be successful. I've been with Etsy for over seven years, and over that time, I've gotten to know a lot of you out there. I have a thing for beautiful and unique pieces from Etsy sellers, like some of the jewelry I'm wearing today. These bracelets came from Cassie of Shop Clementine in Massachusetts. This one is from Chrissy and her team at Laird & Long in Washington. And this one is from Julie Nolan Jewelry in South Carolina. We know you all have different goals and that everyone's path is not the same. And that's why we're focusing this year on guiding and supporting you throughout your creative journey, whatever stage you're at. Whether you're looking to earn some extra income to help pay your bills, or you're looking to build a business that will allow you to quit your day job. You've told us you want to hear more from us and get more information about what's coming up. And this year, we want to do better. Etsy is a platform built for sellers with input from you from the beginning. You've made Etsy your own, and we know this is the key to our success. Etsy is only successful when you're successful, and we're going to work hard to bring you the information and the tools that you need. So today, I'm going to talk through some of the things we have coming up to help address some of your key challenges, clearing your path to success. Etsy has 33 million buyers, and we want to do everything we can to help them find you. Once they've found you, we want to make sure they make that purchase. We know our first job is to help you make sales, and then to make more sales. We want to make sure that Etsy is a brand buyer's trust and will keep investing in bringing new buyers to Etsy and reducing friction, whether it's their first time buying on Etsy or their 100th time. We need to do a better job as matchmakers between you and your buyers. And that's why this year, we're going to work on making it easier for buyers to find you. As Josh mentioned earlier, search is a really important part of this. So we're going to continue to invest in search and in making sure that you can make the most informed decisions about how to optimize your listings. We'll also help your buyers get the information they need to make the decision to purchase easy. As we continue to run search experiments, we'll keep you updated on what we're learning on our Buyer Marketplace test page, which is in our Help Center. This year, we'll also be building new tools for running promotions that will make it easier for buyers to shop with you and to help you keep them coming back. As we bring more new shoppers to Etsy, it's critical that we go above and beyond their expectations so it's easy for them to make the decision to buy. Based on our research, over 60% of online orders made off of Etsy have free shipping, which means that buyers across the internet expect to pay low or no shipping costs most of the time. So we're working on tools to help more of you offer free shipping and to understand when it makes sense for your business. This week, we're also launching a new sales event, in part because we've learned that buyers are more adventurous in what they shop for when they know that items are on sale. As Josh mentioned, sellers who participated in our sales event last year saw, on average, more revenue than the same period the year before. Even sellers who didn't participate in our Cyber Week event got more sales during that time, so there was a benefit site-wide. And we also learned that sales events are very effective ways to bring buyers back to Etsy. So get your wonderful and special items ready to go. The sales event kicks off on March 22nd. Along with sales, we'll launch other shopping events throughout the year highlighting what makes Etsy special. Our recent International Women's Day experience was a great example of this. Drawing on buyer insights, we're testing new search tools and techniques, and we plan on building out the resources we offer to help you understand how to improve your listings to get found, and how to improve your search rankings on Etsy. We also plan to offer you new tools to give you greater insights and data that allow you to make decisions based on what works best for your business. We want to help you build connections with your buyers that will keep them coming back. This year, we're focusing on building the most effective tools for running your shop, prioritizing the direct requests we've received from you. Our upcoming integration with Square will bring you a new payment system that will sync up your in-person sales with your online ones. We're also planning improvements to Pattern, our tool that lets you easily create your own website with your Etsy listings, so that you have even more ways to showcase your brand. Enhancements to Pattern will include the option to include reviews from your buyers on your website, which was one of the top requested features from Etsy sellers using Pattern. In addition to this, we're working on improvements to our existing tools, including better shipping and order management and expanded marketing and promotional tools for your shop. So let's keep in touch. Check out our Seller Success newsletter, follow Etsy Success on Facebook and Instagram. Plus, get any more info you need in our Seller Handbook. We'll include links in the video description. We make Etsy together. We ended last year on an amazing note. 
This community sold a billion dollars worth of products in the fourth quarter of last year, and over three and a quarter billion over the course of 2017. We're excited to work on making 2018 even more successful for you, and we'll be with you every step of the way. Thanks to all of you who posted questions for us in the Etsy forums. Now, Josh and I are going to answer some of the most popular ones. A lot of you shared requests for features or enhancements you'd like us to make on Etsy.com, and we really value your feedback. We won't be able to speak to every request here in this video, but I'd like you to know that we read and consider everything you share with us. Anne from Southern Sassy Pants wants to know why we don't have a text box for personalized items. Thanks for your question, Anne, and thanks for being a longtime Etsy seller. 12 years, that's great. Many shoppers come to Etsy for personalized items, and I know we need to make it easier to buy and sell those items. We know this is something sellers want to see, and we want to build the right solution, one that will address the needs of all the diverse products across our marketplace. This change will affect many parts of the buyer and seller experience on Etsy, including listing management, custom orders, and checkout. We have a team dedicated to this work, but to build the right solution will take a little bit of time to design, build, and test. Thank you for your patience with this highly requested feature, and I look forward to sharing more updates on our progress as soon as we can. Jess from Not By Grandma asked, will Etsy Wholesale remain as an important part of Etsy? Thanks for your question, Jess. Over the past several months, we've been evaluating all our products and services and figuring out in which capacity and to what level of investment they'll be supported. We aim to do what makes the most sense for our sellers and look to invest in products and services that make the biggest impact for them. So we'll be looking into wholesale to better understand how we can continue supporting our Etsy wholesale sellers in a way that makes sense for them and for our marketplace. April from eLuna Jewelry asks what we're doing to improve search. Thanks, April. I checked out your shop and I'm really impressed with your great selection of jewelry and excellent customer reviews. Etsy features a diverse array of over 50 million items and we need to make sure that the items that appear in search results for each unique buyer are the ones that that buyer is most likely to like and to buy. This seems like a simple concept, but it presents a unique technical challenge. We're investing heavily in improving the search experience. In my last video, I talked to you about a major improvement we introduced called Context Specific Ranking, or CSR. We're using CSR to personalize the search experience by using information about the shopper, time of day, and other context-specific factors to rank results in real time, tailored to the needs of each specific shopper. We've seen that CSR drives more sales for more sellers. We're also continuing to get better at understanding what your item actually is, based on all the information in your listings, with less focus on your titles. Eventually, as search continues to improve, our goal is to enable you to include all the relevant data about your products as you list them, reducing the need to continuously refine your SEO terms. You play an important role in search by describing your items accurately in your listings and your tags. As I mentioned earlier, we're committed to sharing more educational information about the actions you can take to continue optimizing your listings and improve your conversion from search. Katie from Lou, Lee, and Me asked, will there be any updates to the selling in person part of the app as well as the card reader? Hi, Katie, thanks for your question. Yes, many sellers already use Square and have asked us to provide better integration with Square card readers. Earlier this month, we announced our plan to do just that. Etsy will be partnering with Square to offer inventory management tools that make it easier for Etsy sellers to sell in person, and we're really excited. As part of this change, we'll be ending the Etsy card reader program. We'll give you and other sellers details on how to get set up with Square, and we'll also be launching inventory management tools in the weeks ahead. Ankita from World Vibe Studio asked why we show shoppers similar items from other shops under your listing and after they've made a purchase from your shop. Thank you for your question, Ankita. As a fellow traveler, I really love your maps and journals. I know that including these items on listing pages isn't very popular with sellers. As a marketplace, we're always working to strike the right balance between sellers' individual preferences and the overall experience that meets the expectation of buyers, and as a result, drives the most sales for the entire community of sellers. When buyers find exactly what they're looking for, 
they're more likely to make a purchase and return to Etsy to make even more purchases in the future. Inspiring buyers and exposing them to the depth of products available in our marketplace makes the marketplace healthier and benefits all sellers in the long term. We've heard from many sellers that you don't want similar items included on listing pages that you spend time promoting on social media. That's why when you share links to your listings from the social media tool, we automatically personalize the URL so shoppers won't see recommended items from other shops. If you haven't tried the tool yet, go to the social media section under the marketing options in your shop dashboard to give it a try. Thank you for sharing your feedback, and please know that we'll continue to look for ways to reflect your feedback in our tools.